What's up everyone? Welcome to another one of my videos. Now this video is going to be quite a bit different today. We're going to be talking about the paranormal. And what I mean by paranormal is a phenomenon that cannot be directly explained. Specifically, I mean ghosts. For about a year now, I've been a part of a local paranormal group that investigates these strange occurrences, basically like the TV show Ghost Hunters. Now assuming you haven't closed out of this video yet, my only request is that you keep an open mind throughout the video, whether you believe it or not. Everything you see or hear in this video is real and has not been altered except for the audio, which has been made louder by Audacity. I also encourage you to wear headphones, turn your volume up, and set the video quality to 720p to ensure the best listening experience. Don't worry, there aren't any jump scares, I promise. Today, I'm going to show you some evidence from our latest investigation at the Harrodsburg Herald in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. I'll put some background information in the description, but for now, let's jump right in. This first piece of audio was recorded by me from the main room upstairs. Paranormal investigator Bill Scott was demonstrating a technique used to make entities aware of our presence. What you're going to hear is him saying, show yourself, and then you'll hear my friend repeat that. Listen for the sound it makes immediately after the second, show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Hear it move? Yeah. See it move? I didn't see it sound like it was coming from Look where you saw it. Look where you heard it. The noise you just heard was not made by one of us. It could have been made by the building, but I find that too coincidental. I will admit, though, it is pretty questionable. I'll play it one more time. Show yourself. Show yourself. Hear it move? Yeah. Not convinced? Let's ramp things up a little bit, shall we? These next audio clips were recorded by me from the room between the side entrance of the Herald and the warehouse. Everyone was gathered in this room at the time after three of our members had shockingly seen an apparition in the warehouse just prior. Unfortunately, I didn't see this apparition. However, I did see their reactions during, as I thought it was me they had seen. Listen to how they describe it. There was a figure. Like it this. was just like that, and then it just started walking yeah, towards it was just us, like staring at us. Are you sure that wasn't me? Yeah, no, that was. I, I mean, can't guess yeah. where that came from. There was some person. Come on, they walked. Yeah, there was Show a person. There was a person who walked from this angle. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. It, it, was, it, was, it was like right here, like it was like in the corner. Like where? Like right back here. And it was, oh, real. It was standing Kayla, here. Kayla, that's where I told you I had saw something before. And it I stopped, said, and then it started, and then all of a sudden it just stared at us. Four girls running that spring. How many you saw? Pretty creepy, huh? Well, it doesn't stop there. Immediately after, you'll hear a faint boom right when it gets quiet. This audio takes place immediately after the last clip. However, it has been amplified so that you could hear it better. Where was it at? Right back here. Where? Right there. What was that? Standing like this. Not want us there. It was like someone upstairs. It was like coming for us. Like that. No. Hey Bill, what was? Did you just hear I'm that? Something slammed the door. Really? I'm Somebody slammed the door. Someone's upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not in there now. The sound came from upstairs. Yet everyone was in the room. To me, it sounded like a door slamming. But upon inspection of the upstairs shortly after, nothing was changed from before. Here's the clip one more time. Where was it at? Right back there. Is it where? Oh. So let's move on to some videos. These clips were recorded by me in the press room with most of us in the room. What we did was we set a maglite flashlight next to an EMF meter and twisted the flashlight in such a way that it was just barely off so that the slightest energy or force could turn it on. What you're going to see initially is the flashlight on in the middle and its reflection on the floor below. You'll hear Jeff Stanford of Kentucky Paranormal talk and then you're going to see the EMF meter's red light turn on. Watch it how the lights react. Just turn it, turn it to the right. Now make the other device right in front of Bill light up. Can you make that light up? Okay, thank you. Is there anything else you can do? Can you make the uh, flashlight light up twice? Make it flash twice for yes?
This clip was from about a minute later. I tell people flip out because the flashlight came on. I'm like, when the flashlight comes off the table and hangs for your head, you worry. <laughs> Can you make the flashlight turn on again? Thank you. While you're doing the red light, can you do both of them? Thank you. Turn it off, please. Turn it back to the left and turn it off. Come on. Is it stuck? I think that's a yes. <laughs> I know you're probably getting tired. That's why you can't turn the flash on this right. Turn it off. Thank you. Now I'm coming over here. Flashlights and EMF spikes are common in pretty much every investigation we do. Those were just the clips that stood out this investigation. This last piece of evidence we found was probably the most interesting of the night. This was recorded upstairs by one of Kentucky Paranormal's wireless audio recorders. No one was upstairs at the time, and it just sort of comes out of nowhere. I saved the best for last. What you're about to hear is the raw, unaltered audio file. It sounds like someone whispering, but to be honest, that's all I could make out. I amplified the audio in Audacity, so here it is again, but louder. Again, I must stress that this is all 100% real. I would not be posting this if this were in any way faked. In fact, during the making of this video, I actually debunked one piece of audio that was going to go on here. Most things in this world can be explained, but there are some that just cannot. So with that, thank you everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I do read those, and I will be sure to answer them. Until then, I'll see you next time.